Peninsula Credit Union offers time to 501c3 nonprofits to get their message out on iFiber One News Radio. Here's one of those conversations. We have two great guests here in studio today talking about a fun upcoming evening that will help and uh, celebrate what the good work done by Community Lifeline. It is uh, a night of dance. We have got on the air with us Chris Brickert and Bert Peterson. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. To good, you. morning. Yeah, good morning. Thanks for coming on here in Community Lifeline. We're, we're feeling these temperatures already starting to dip down, drop, and before too long, the doors are going to be uh, open for the overnights. Is that, that right? That is Bert? correct. Oh, wow. uh, we're going to be open uh, five straight months here. Yep. Uh, we've been funded for that starting uh, November 1st. And then uh, potentially the last month, uh, the month of April, depending upon okay. funding okay. And, and the weather. Nice. Wow. So, Very nice. So it's, uh, we're gearing up for that. And let's see the poster. What's the the uh... night of dance? You can hang it up there. We'll see it in the camera. And uh, it says the Harlan Davis Project is presenting a fun mix of blues, country, rock, and Motown for a night of dance. It's going to be at the Lake Limerick Country Club coming up this Saturday night from seven to nine. This is a new idea, a new way to uh, promote and uh, celebrate Community Lifeline. Where'd the idea come from, Chris? Bert, tell us about this. Yes, I'm excited to let the community of Shelton know about this event. It's going to be a lot of fun. This particular band actually donated their time for this event. Oh, that's so and, good. Yes, and I'd also like to recognize Walmart and Fred Meyer. They have given donations to this project. So that allows us to sell the tickets, and 100% of the ticket sales will go to Community Lifeline. Nice. Oh, very They'll cool. They'll be dancing, music, food, a open bar, prizes, drawings, all kinds of things Ooh, going on. Fun. Seven to nine at Lake Limerick Country Club. It is uh, going to be a good deal there. And ticket presale prices twenty five each, or forty five for a couple for a fun night there, uh, benefiting Community Lifeline. And uh, this is kind of the first time you've done a concert like this. It uh, is. Did it, how did it come about? What you guys talk about? Well, it? we realized we had this band on hand for about a year, and we hadn't taken them up on their offer. Oh, yeah. So we decided to do that and put this evening together, and it's come together really well. I would like to mention to business owners, if they would like to reserve a table of 8 or 10, then their table will be reserved for their party, and their business will be recognized throughout the oh, evening. Oh, nice. Oh, very okay. nice. Yeah. That is cool. How is uh, the community um, continuing to support Community Lifeline as we as we move into these colder months? They are uh, doing very well. Uh, one of one of the areas that we have is our meals program. We yeah. have meals teams uh, serving and uh, and fixing meals every night, and uh, we are short a few. A few nights I think four nights during a month so we are looking and recruiting groups whether they be churches uh, community organizations uh, youth groups etc to uh, help us participate and uh, they can get a hold of us at our at our email address I just gave you that and uh, so that's that's one of the areas uh, our shower program is going Monday Tuesdays and Thursdays in the morning and uh, a good number of people there and we do have a lot of folks donating incidentals and so forth like this soap okay, and shampoos nice. and things like this and the one area that we are looking at is uh, donations of uh, oh nice socks and oh, uh, things like this socks. because okay. during the winter uh, I don't know if any of you have experienced it but when your feet get wet and the socks get wet that just sort of chills you throughout your body yes. it takes a long time <laughs> to warm up and Definitely. so therefore yes. uh, those are things that we pass out during our shower program and during our shelter program chris tell me a little bit about uh the needs that we this last friday we moved the calendar into fall uh where are we at with seeing folks uh, families uh, as well that come in and use the services of Community Lifeline? Yeah, um, I've been with Community Lifeline only about the last year, oh, but being learning all of the things about the community and this particular part of our community has been sometimes heartbreaking. And we see families, entire families with children come in. Um, meals are served, three. we try, 365 days a year. 
it is getting cold. It's getting a little bit damp, and um, there's just so much need. And like Bert said, we have a few nights that need to be covered. But there, there's also a lots of other incidentals that can be donated to the facility. Your little bottles of shampoo and, mm. and soaps and all of those kinds of things are also really helpful to the program. And Community Lifeline is a 501 C3. We are a 501 C3. We do have uh, forms which we hand out for people who, who would like them for, uh, for tax purposes and so forth like okay. this, so for donations. And, uh, and of course, no, we're always looking for uh, money donations. I we bet. are funded basically a lot through our community. The individual uh, families and, and folks we have some folks that we get a check from every month and uh, and have been very instrumental in, in continuing our mission. Oh, we do amazing. not, uh, but, but we do go after some funds from grantors and things like this, and we have been some, somewhat successful. Obviously, donations encourage. When we talk about Saints Pantry, they, they talk often about how they are able to leverage their dollars a little differently than kind of just me if I were to go to the store and buy something. Are you guys in the same situation there? You're able to, to take this money and use it in a, in a way that gets more bang for your buck than a, just an average person donates? Yes, we do. We, uh, no, we, we have the benefit of, of being a 501c3 and working with businesses and things like that, yeah. that they will give us substantial, substantial discounts. Oh, good. And uh, then, of course, no when something is oh the date beyond and so forth like that for yeah, some right. of the stores and so forth like this okay. they, they'll bring food into our into our kitchen and so forth like that in, in large amounts uh, more than St. Pan, Pan, uh, Pantry yeah. so we can utilize it in our meals program oh, good that's and, good so, now, so, so when you say you're having a few days out of those months <laughs> For the dinners, is that you need food for the well, dinners, or you need vo uh, we, volunteers? We we need basically volunteers. Okay. Uh, no, we we get again a lot of food donated okay. that the volunteers can utilize. Now, a lot of our groups like to bring in their own food. They say, "Hey, it's part of our mission and part of our contribution oh. to bring in our own food okay. and so forth." And then they'll bring in, and we have. Uh, you know, you talk about serving the food to the folks. We have uh, some folks bring bring some youngsters in, oh, good. some teenagers, and, oh, yeah. and oh, no, that little, will stand there and hand out cookies and so forth like this. My little eight-year-old granddaughter has been down there a few times, oh. and her favorite thing is to scoop these huge spoons of beans, <laughs> and she can barely reach the plate, oh. but it, she She's just loves girl. it. Or she hands out the cookies, like Bert oh. said, oh, and so. Very cool. These small teams of people of maybe five or six that can volunteer as a group and prepare meals. We have a huge, beautiful kitchen yep. down there to prepare the meals in, and they can form a team of maybe their family. Okay. That's and it's great. a great experience. It and is, especially for younger kids, yeah. too, to see yeah. that. Let's I go back that. to like, Saturday night here, the night of dance. Is there a cap limit? I mean, more people on the dance floor is always a good thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, good question. We um, have room for 100 people. Okay. We have sold 80 tickets oh, already. Oh, good for you. So, but... That being said, uh, some people have bought a ticket just as a donation, oh, okay. and so we know we'll have some extra room. So we have 20 tickets to go that we would like to sell, and um, if you buy two, then you get a little bit off oh, for well, that night. Nice. Yes. So it is again Saturday night, the 29th, from 7 to 9 at the Lake Limerick Country Club, which in its own right, beautiful place. Oh, it's yes. Be a fun time. yes. Night of Dance, benefiting Community Lifeline. Uh, we'll put the uh, phone numbers and the links here in the show notes as we uh, get them going. Uh, you can uh, call in on uh, 360. 229-2242 or 360-432-9677. We'll get those numbers again on the links. Community Lifeline can be found on Facebook, too, uh, as an organization. It is um, Mason County Homeless on Facebook, Mason Facebook.com. I just looked it up, and then I just lost, lost it, it here. Yeah. But we'll, we'll get it up there for sure. Okay. Um, there we go. 
<laughs> yep, Mason County homeless. So we'll put the links in the show notes. Bert, good to see you. Chris, nice to meet you. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Fun to thanks be here. Thanks for coming on thanks. and talking Thank with you. us about this big event. Again, thanks to Peninsula Credit Union for offering up time on iFiber One News Radio's Daybreak for 501c3 nonprofit organizations who want to get their message out to you. If you're a nonprofit who'd like to get a word out, email jeff at iFiberOne.com.